It's time, isn't it? Is it already? Is it time? Already, guys? Guess what, guys? It's time to talk conventions. What is up, everybody? Ranger Liz here. Woo! With a fun video for you this Tuesday because we had a bunch of fun convention stuff come out over the course of Thursday and Friday. And if you missed it, I did the Ranger Weekend Review live. I know a lot of you guys don't catch the live one, so let's go over what you need to know about this big, big, big convention that's happening next year in the world of Power Rangers. Power Morphicon 2020 is on its way, and now I'm already telling you this a full year in advance, but I'm gonna go over the dates, the places, things you need to know, and what you actually can start doing right now, and what you need to know. Yeah, it's a year away. What do you actually need to know right now? I'll go over that in just a bit. But real quick, there is another huge Power Ranger convention that's happening in November in 2019. That is Ranger Stop Orlando. And I'm going to be putting out a video for you probably tomorrow. Any breaking news or anything. So we'll be going over that and a fun announcement for it as well. But we are going to get into PMC. Now, last year, I got to go to my very first Power Morphicon. It was absolutely great. I loved every single minute of it, uh, excluding like the sweatiness sometimes, but I absolutely loved it. And I hope you guys did too. And whether this is going to be your first Power Morphicon or your seventh, or they up to seven already, here's some stuff that you can get going. So get your paper and your pin, kids. Get out your calendars. This is what you need to know about Power Morphicon 2020. First off, the big thing, we have the date and for some of you guys especially with work start getting it in now and start planning ahead if this is where you want to go because it is going to be september 4th through 6th of 2020 power morph kind of only happens every two years and this year they're actually pushing it back a little bit being september 4th through 6th don't mind the jingling of my cat playing in another room with this they are actually pushing it back to labor day which <sighs> leah i'm so sorry about that now, this is going to be happening on Labor Day weekend, which is causing a little bit of problems for some people. Some people are saying now there's no way they're going to be able to make it. They already, you know, family plans, things that happen every year. Or uh, maybe just looking at the prices or thinking it's going to be too expensive. So this is a big thing to keep in mind. Now, Labor Day, of course, is on Monday. This convention is going to be from Friday to Sunday. So a lot of people are going to be maybe flying in Thursday, trying to fly out Monday. With Monday being Labor Day is going to be a really big holiday. So keep that in mind if this is some place that you are really going to want to go big thing number two not it lit not anaheim this year last year they moved to anaheim for the first time and it didn't go great i guess because now they're moving back to the pasadena convention center that's where it had been since morphicon 2 and it seems to be working out well for them there i kind of understand i was fortunate enough as being a vendor got to see a little bit more of the behind the scenes stuff i know load in times were really screwed up i know the security was having issues trying to kick people off the floor there were a lot of growing pains and there are quite a few issues with the anaheim convention center According to Power Rangers now, they were saying that the convention is moving due to an increased price in the Anaheim Convention Center. Either way, I understand if they want to move back to where they're more comfortable with. Perhaps Anaheim was too big. Perhaps it was just there was so much other stuff going on. I think they fit this space really well. I don't think there was too much dead space. So it wasn't so much that size, but I just think overall they had a lot of issues with it. So I understand if they're going to want to move back to Pasadena. That's going to lead you over to hotels. Now, there is not a official con hotel, but I would definitely be taking a look at uh, the Sheraton and there is a Hyatt and there is a Hilton also really close by potentially uh, I think they used to use a Sheraton they might have used uh, maybe like those uh, Westport Hilton or something I have a lot more research that I am going to be doing I'm actually going to be digging through some of the archives from past Power Morphicons reaching out to my friends who have been to the one since before I got to go who are in Pasadena to help get you guys any information or tips and tricks about what you might uh, need to do if it's going to be your first trip but please keep in mind this is the Pasadena Convention Center on Anaheim, which changes up the dynamic of the airlines a little bit. Last year, I was telling everybody to fly into Orange County, John Wayne Airport. Some people were finding much better deals, or even for the same amount, you would be able to get to the Con Hotel faster. This one's going to be a little different. It's looking like, and this is just to my preliminary research, but LAX, so Los Angeles International Airport, or there's a smaller airport called Bob Hope Airport, and I think that might be like 
like Burbank. I'll have to get you the exact call numbers on that one. But there's really going to be only about two that you're probably going to be able to be served with. Now, Los Angeles Airport, of course, huge, huge, one of the biggest airports in the world. You're going to be able to find flights from anywhere. It's going to be really convenient. However, prices might be a bit more. It's going to be a large, large airport if you're not used to navigating through huge. If you've never been to JFK or Heathrow or LAX, uh, really large airports can be a little scary. So that might just be something to keep in mind. Again, do your research. Airlines are not uh, accepting flight reservations at this time. They don't have their flights out, just like hotels don't have their uh, itineraries. They don't have their schedules out for you can book a full year in advance. At least some don't. Although when it comes to the hotels, please wait until the official con has their hotel. They will have a room block up for you, which will help save you some money. Cat, you're really trying to kill me tonight, aren't you? LAX, because it's so big, is of course going to have pretty much every major airline that you could possibly fl fly into. But go ahead, you can now, a year in advance, start checking the dates and seeing what kind of flight paths are available. Are you going to be looking at, because you're in a small airport, you're going to have to be changing planes a lot, or you're going to be able to maybe find direct routes. These might not be the exact times that they're going to be in a year, but you'll be able to get them in your head, and it's going to make your decisions a lot easier when you do need to pull the trigger. Now, let's get to the one big thing that you are actually going to have to pull the trigger on very soon rather than later. Because Power Morphicon does not have any information out except the date, they have told us that tickets are going to be going on sale within about six weeks. That's a lot of time, but it's not a lot of time to save a lot of money. Why? Because when tickets go on sale, they are kaboom. They take your money and you have your ticket. What are the differences in tickets? This is what we're going to talk about. You are going to need your money to figure out what ticket and what package basically you would like to get. There's a lot of different tiers. Let's say you just want to go Saturday. You can buy a Saturday one day only ticket. Uh, like last year they had uh, Saturday and a Sunday combo or just Sunday only. Friday, I do believe it was just for the people who'd bought the weekend passes only. You will catch a lot of conventions do that, so keep that in mind if you don't want one of the larger packages. You could get things like, uh, and when I'm talking about these packages, of course, I'm talking about the perks that you get with it. Uh, like last year, do I have, yeah, I'm up here. Uh, Lord Draken was the PMC, oh my god, I forgot how flappy he was. Um, uh, really? Okay. Oh my gosh, his joints are made of rubber. So, <laughs> you're going to need these perks for exclusives, like, not like Lord Tracking, like this guy right here, or like the Power Morphicon Black and Gold Megazord Pop. These were exclusives, and we're just going to leave it at what it says it was. You can only buy X amount of figures per your package. So if you want to buy, if you want to have the opportunity to buy four of these guys instead of two, uh, you have to maybe get the Silver Ranger package instead of the Red Ranger package. Now they're just going to be called different Ranger packages, but for the, that's fine. For what you need to know, if you want to go all out, if you want to say, I want to get the biggest one, I'm getting the Platinum Ranger package. With that, you're getting everything. You're getting the, in these packages, you get prints, you like art prints. You get t-shirts, hoodies, pins, like these collectible pins right here that were in uh, the lanyard. This says Ninja Steel. Next year, hopefully, it says Beast Morphers on it. But you are going to be able to get access to a lot of these different things. If you get the Platinum Ranger, which is the highest, if you get the Gold Ranger, which is second highest, you're going to be able to get priority seating for things. You're going to be able to get priority entry, priority uh, badge grabs, which is great. Now, I don't know how this is going to work, of course, with next year going into it, being back at their normal place. But you guys all know that it was called Line Con for a reason. Anything that can get you to help skip the line, the better. It's not just tickets, by the way, if you're also someone like myself who's thinking, I I mean, this isn't like an announcement, but I'm, you know, fingers crossed, I'm really going to try to go. And I also want to do a fan table again like I did last year to help promote the channel, to help promote my friends' podcast and their channels and their websites and stuff. So I'll probably be doing that again, and those are also going to be on sale. So if you're an artist and you're thinking about going a different way about getting into PMC this year, uh, like with mine, I got the, um, because I had it, I had a vendor badge, I had full of everything I could get in. I got it on Thursday. I got my tape booth and stuff set up just to keep that in mind. So yeah, you're getting, you know, prints, pins, whatever, but the higher up you get, the more you get. You'll get the Silver Ranger print. Well, if you get the Gold Ranger, you get the Gold Ranger print and the Silver Ranger print. You guys are picking up what I'm putting down for you here. And here is the big one, guys. Last year, now prices, of course, can go up, yada, yada. This is just a baseline 
$300 if you would like the platinum ticket. Yes, that is for one person and your entry. The people who got it, you know, they really enjoyed it. They liked the swag that they got. You also get uh, perks like the VIP breakfast, which is a specialized thing. Uh, I think if you had like a certain level enough, you could add it on. Some they might be included. They're gonna have all of this out there listed for you, of course. But when these tickets go on sale, be ready. If you want platinum, if you want the highest of the high, if you want the front row access for things, if you want priority level, everything, you need to get on it really quick. Really quick. I mean, this isn't San Diego Comic Con, but these platinum badges sold out last year, I think within 30 minutes, which is a problem because their servers and everything from the ticketing system crashed. Now, hopefully all of this is taken care of again, and as soon as I have more information, you know I'm going to be getting it to you, so just tell so, this plug, just hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Woo, we have a year. I'm sure you guys, if you remember last year, I had a huge lead up going into Power Morphicon with tips and tricks and guests and everything that has been announced. Nothing like that yet other than the main tip of start saving your money, be ready for when tickets go out. If you want one of the best level tickets, you need to be on it. Gold Ranger, if I remember correctly, lasted a little bit of time, but it wasn't too long. But after a while, Silver Ranger was the best package you could get, which was the only other kind of included your weekend, but it had a little extra bonus to it. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming out, guys. I am so excited about Power Morphicon in 2020. Uh, but we have a lot of stuff to go through before we get then. And plus, I mean, as it stands, we could be getting our cast for the next season. So it'll be next year for 20. Woo, it's gonna be a long time. But if you are excited like I am, please leave this video a thumbs up. I would absolutely appreciate it. And leave me a comment below. Do you think you are gonna go or have you ever gone? I don't know, I'm, I'm really excited about PMC. I'm probably going to, and another shameless plug, I did a full vlog series. I did four vlogs uh, covering my time. So if you check out the Power Morphicon, um, playlist which maybe I'll have a link to or anything check out the playlist and you can see more about what last year was like if you've never been and if it was something you were interested in going to I'm going to wrap this up because I'm immediately going to be recording the ranger stop video right after this so thank you guys so much for staying until the end of the video I super appreciate it I love you all may your savings be bountiful and your platinum tickets be in your account love you toodles